Just this little hope and Luella rescued her a little while ago now, last week I think it was. And she actually flew into a parked car. She's only 13 weeks old which is incredibly young for this time of the year. But it was really lucky that she came into care even though it was a bit of an accident because she had a terrible couple of very badly infected wounds and she's been some sort of predator attack. You can see a healing one on the, on the bridge of her nose there. And she had a really bad fungal infection on the chest as well which is now looking really good. So you're very lucky little Hope that you ran into that parked car. And she was also about 120 under, under weight, 120 grams under what she should be for a person of her size and age. So as you can see she's making up for it. Can you stuff any more banana in those little cheeks? My goodness. So she's really spending her days hanging in the sun and eating. And recovering from these nasty infections. You're a lot happier now, aren't you? Because when she came in, the poor little left eye was nearly closed. So it's lovely and bright now and the infection's receding. And, um, do you want some more? Or have you had enough there? Hmm? A bit more nanny before we go? Oh yes, yeah, she can always fit a little bit more nanny in. Chubby cheeks. The Chinese market at the center of coronavirus outbreak sells bats to eat. Have you seen the story that went viral on social media the other day? A woman was filmed swallowing a bat while at a market at the center of the deadly coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan. The story read, a viral video has emerged online of a Chinese gobbling a bat. Many think that this particular market and this bad bat eating habit played a critical role in transmitting the deadly coronavirus. The unidentified woman at a restaurant in the Wuhan province was clutching what appears to be a fruit bat with chopsticks. She was filmed nibbling its wing like she was eating a piece of chicken. Experts say bats are among the carriers of the coronavirus epidemic that will eventually destroy China. The deadly disease, some experts still think, originated at Wuhan's Hunan seafood market, which sold seabets, snakes, and other illegal exotic animals that had been. Unfortunately, the bats exalted status as a traditional folk remedy means people might not stop eating the flying rodents anytime soon. According to the new report, the video comes after photos appeared of a Chinese market at the center of the deadly coronavirus outbreak selling live animals. This market also sells wolf, pups, foxes, rats, and peacocks. The wild animals were among 112 items that were peddled at the Hunan seafood market in the central city of Wuhan. Other wildlife sold at the market, which has since been shuttered, included crocodiles, giant salamanders, snakes, porcupines, and camel meat. Chinese health officials believe the mysterious virus, which has so far killed over 1 million people and its second tens of millions of people originated from wild animals at the seafood market. It has since been confirmed that disease spreads via animal to human contact. The coronavirus 
has spread all over the world and fears intensify uh, that uh, this is just the beginning of the viruses that come out of China. Hello Philippines, hello world. Nais ko pong malaman nyo na hindi po galing sa akin ang coronavirus, kundi galing po ito sa bugwit at palaka na sinabawan. Ganun pa man, pinag-iingat ko po ang lahat na iwasan muna pong lumabas ng bahay. Panatiliin pong malinis ang pangatawan at laging maghugas ng kamay upang maiwasan po natin ang coronavirus. At sa mga online seller naman po, nagbebenta ng mass at alcohol na overpricing at triple na ang presyo, isa po kayong cancer sa lipunan. Kung may kakilala po kayo, pag-i-mention nyo po upang pupuntahin ko at kakagatin upang sila ang unang tamaan ng coronavirus. Ako nga po pala si Batsu, nagmamahal. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
错的。所以刚才我们喝的这个汤啊，味道真的是很鲜香，而且还有淡淡的水果味在里面。但是呢，这个蝙蝠你看，每一根毛都在这里哦，看上去像不像一个迷你版的小狼狗呢？当地人说的话呢，这个蝙蝠就跟鸡肉一样，非常的鲜嫩，而且是大口的。但是看到它这样子，我真的不知道该从哪里下手。而且后面还有毛，小鸡毛是吧？毛来，呃，我们俩一人拽一个吧，试一下。
is last night's rescue. This is Miss Alicia, who, oh, well that's made her a bit happier than she was before. Um, so, <clears throat> very nice human Alicia. Um, rang her in last night after she'd, um, about her Alicia would run into a car. But fortunately there's nothing broken, all four limbs are working very well. She's nice and bright and alert. She's clearly enjoying her banana. Look at those cheeks, my goodness, chipmunk cheeks. So I imagine she'll be in care for a couple of weeks <coughs> and um, hopefully we can uh, get her up and flying again and then she can go home. <laughs> She's been a bit cranky so it's good to see her enjoying her banana. Oh, I don't know if she can fit any more in there darling. I think that, I think that might be it. Oh look at the cheeks. <laughs> oh dear, we're not laughing at you. No. Now what are you going to do? Gonna chew that up? <laughs> It's a case of biting off more than you can chew. Good girl though. Hey, you're looking good today. Weren't too flash last night, but you're looking very good today. Just leave her to enjoy her banana. Mr. Belgrave and he was rescued by Paul last night. He'd been caught in a between two palings and a fence for about a couple of days. Let's see if you want some nani for breakfast. Let's see. Oh, you'd have some nani. Oh, he's a hungry man. So he's done some damage to his thumb. The rest of him is fine. He was terribly thirsty last night and very hungry. Want some more nani, darling? Good boy. So we've just got to treat his thumb um, and make sure that it's carefully cared for. Thumbs are terribly important to, to flying foxes. <clears throat> they use them for climbing and grooming and all sorts of things and also for holding the girls when they're mating. So we really... Oh sweetie, you're okay. It's very frightened. They're gonna eat the nanny? And there's not a lot of um, skin on thumbs there. <laughs> You're right, eat your nanny up, darling. There's not a lot of skin on thumbs, so they've got to be treated very carefully. Yep, four bats in yesterday. Um, we had a, had a busy day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. He's, you're very frightened, aren't you? My goodness, you can eat your nanny. He'll settle down. He's actually well enough today after I fill him up with some juice. I'm going to put him out in the main flight Avery with the other bats. Because at this point, he's just... Um, Oh, sweetie, it's okay. He's just very, very... It's okay. You're very, very frightened. You'll be okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll let him finish his nanny and give him a big drink and um, take him outside. You can have some nice batty company. That'll make you happy, I think. You can eat your nanny in peace then. This is Alex and he was rescued last night by Louise and he's very very hungry. He's very underweight as well. Um, sorry about the banana, it's a bit cold, it's in the fridge. So he was found very close to a very busy road so we're probably surmising that he's had a bump, been bumped by a car. But he's got no obvious injuries. Um, Apart from the fact he's terribly thin, so we're just trying to sort of reconcile why he's so so thin um, when everything looks okay. So he does have a bit of damage on his thumb, old old injuries on his thumb and also on his wing membrane, but um, certainly nothing that would ground him. Anyway, he'll come into care and spend his day eating bananas, won't you, until we get you up and running. Very sweet boy. Lovely natured boy. Yeah. You're enjoying that banana. Lots of bananas where that one came from. Oh, I'm not going to take it away. Here it is. There you go. Oh, 
Anyway, we'll put him back to bed with a nice bowl of fresh fruit and um, get some juice into him. And hopefully he'll be up and he'll be up and hanging in a few days, my darling. I think he will be. Yeah. Now I'm not going to take him any away. There it is. I'll just leave it there for you. Good man. Mr. Belgrave and he was rescued by Paul last night. He'd been caught in a between two palings and a fence for about a couple of days. Let's see if he wants some nani for breakfast. Let's see. Oh, he'd have some nani. Oh, he's a hungry man. So he's done some damage to his thumb. The rest of him's fine. He was terribly thirsty last night and very hungry. Want some more nani, darling? Good boy. So we've just got to treat his thumb um, and make sure that it's carefully cared for. Thumbs are terribly important to, to flying foxes. <clears throat> they use them for climbing and grooming and all sorts of things and also for holding the girls when they're mating. So we really... Oh sweetie, you're okay. It's very frightened. They're gonna eat the nanny? And there's not a lot of um, skin on thumbs there. <laughs> You're right, eat your nanny up, darling. There's not a lot of skin on thumbs, so they've got to be treated very carefully. Yep, four bats in yesterday. Um, we had a, had a busy day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It's, you're very frightened, aren't you? My goodness, you can eat your nanny. He'll settle down. He's actually well enough today after I fill him up with some juice. I'm going to put him out in the main flight Avery with the other bats. Because at this point, he's just... Um, Oh, sweetie, it's okay. He's just very, very... It's okay. You're very, very frightened. You'll be okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll let him finish his nanny and give him a big drink and um, take him outside. You can have some nice batty company. That'll make you happy, I think. You can eat your nanny in peace, then. It's all in a day's work for this woman. She opens up a manhole cover and scoops out as much slop as she can, delighted by what she finds. What others might view as revolting, she sees as a bonanza. She works in the streets of the southern Chinese city of Shenzhen, a foot soldier in China's so-called gutter oil industry. After more than 10 years in the business, she says she's made enough money to build a house for her family back in her home village a thousand miles to the north. Her slop eventually winds up in a processing plant like this one, where it's combined with other animal fat refuse to create recycled cooking oil. Workers put the oil in barrels for delivery to restaurants and hotels. How can you eat this? If you eat it, it can kill you. Cooking oil has long been a cherished commodity in China, where stir-frying in a wok is the mainstay of daily meal preparation. <laughs> the high profit margins from gutter oil production have proven irresistible. Chinese experts estimate that one-tenth of China's cooking oil is gutter oil which has been found to contain carcinogens and other toxins harmful to humans. Most of it winds up in hole-in-the-wall restaurants and among street food vendors. Illegal production sites are often discovered after people living nearby notice a nauseating stench and alert the authorities. Police have arrested scores of people across the country in recent years for engaging in the trade and seized thousands of tons of the material. The Chinese government enacted a tough food safety law in 2009 that included harsh penalties for producers of tainted products. But many consumers doubt that China's dinner tables can be completely free of gutter oil. All we can do is accept it. In our current society, everybody tries to swindle everybody else. There's nothing we can do about it.
，王八炖大鹅熟了，我先爆个头。真香啊，双击！宝宝们，我吃这么辣的大爆头，咱家老铁能不能给我一个大双击？有大米，老板，嗯，哎呦，真心不错，这个糊的。很香啊，嗯，贵了，真的。老铁们，来个最火三连撸。双击不是要的，你们看着过瘾，能不能赏我一个？呜，撸吧！双击评论七七七。小卤猪的这个猪排啊，我们继续吃，有点太烫了，其他还好。妈呀，哪有肉啊？啊，肉在中间。咱名人不说暗话，喜欢吃猪肉的双击，双击哦。有多少老铁比我还能吃辣的？给个双击，我看看有多少。来一个章鱼足，太香了。好，来一串小灯笼，煮的太老了。猪大肠。能给伟哥来个免费的双击吗？一会儿直播时啊，还是龙虾尾。深夜大背腰子啊！老板。嗯。火辣鸡爪就要成一发。老烂回来，自制小蘸串，这个是小腊肠，看看有没有食欲。菜卷。老铁们，看这个是什么
酸蚂蚁，不用害怕，这个是可以食用入药的中药材。真酸！可乐鸡翅。祝大家元旦节快乐！这个猪肉脯，地地道道的。得劲！来个大的。好肥不肥啊？你们说了算，吃几个给几个双击。都是乳白，像不像玫瑰花？你干啥？一身给我打湿了。<笑>哎呀！哎呀！哈哈哈哈哈！太棒了！我以为你家铁头功厉害了。对着我这个象八旺点双击的老铁哈、啊，家庭好，事业好，身体都会越来越强壮。那好辣，双击。菠萝炒饭教程在上个视频，尝一口。辣椒。来个始皇大战啊！想吃的扣一。嗯，五元两个的鸡腿，二两味的。
。今天晚上直播挑战吃十斤大肘子，再加五斤大肥肉。七点半直播，海带饭包。红烧肉，好香！大肠就得配苹果，嗯。